Ahoy, mateys. Welcome to the Channel Islands Maritime Museum. Today, we're going to learn about what Excuse life Excuse me, what do you mean by maritime? Maritime refers to activities and objects on the ocean, near the ocean, and under the ocean, and other large bodies of water. Do you mean like ships and boats? Yes, along with lighthouses, boating activities, and harbors. Do maritime studies also include whales and dolphins, plants and coral reefs? Yes, but we call it marine life. But before we go any further, let me answer one of the first questions most students ask. Who built the first boat? Exactly. And the answer is, we don't know. But we think they used whatever materials were handy and that would float. Why did they build a boat? Most likely they needed to cross a river and may have tied some logs together to make a raft. Or used reeds to make a boat. Early man knew he needed to fish and trade with others. What we do know is that over time the boats got larger and larger. Then man used sails to propel ships across the water then steam, and today some big ships even run on nuclear power. How did sailors know where they were going? Early sailors stayed within sight of the shore. In time, man learned to use the stars to help guide them as they ventured into open seas. Then the telescope, compass, then the sextant. What is a sextant? The sextant is an instrument that uses the sun to help sailors know where they are on the ocean. With these tools, early explorers could draw maps for others to follow. Today, we use satellites and GPS for navigation. Today, we will step back in time to 400 years ago. Back to the days of sail when a voyage could take months instead of days. Today, you will learn what it must have been like to be a sailor in that time. All the way, all the way, you'll hear me sing, we're bound for sail. Also, as part of today's journey through time, we will travel from Oxnard across the oceans to Europe and Asia. Why Europe and Asia? Well, because in Europe, we see the first painters of maritime art. You will see paintings which will show us what maritime life was like long before we ever had cameras. We're going to visit Asia to see the largest ship of that time. It was called a treasure ship. It sailed around Asia and shared their cargo of gunpowder, fireworks, tea, spices and other stuff, and even fought pirates in the process. You'll learn about early explorers such as Christopher Columbus. Juan Cabrillo. Captain Cook and the important contributions they made in discovering new lands and trade routes. Now it's time for your journey to begin. Your captain will give you further instructions. Arr!